So let's review this question. It says, an older adult is admitted to the hospital with nausea and vomiting. I want you to write this down. Anytime you are doing an NCLEX question, you need to identify the five key factors of an NCLEX question. Factor number one, who is your patient? What is your patient's age? What is your patient's ethnicity? Is it a male, female? When they tell you information about your patient, it's important. So factor number one, who is your patient? Factor number two, what is the medical diagnosis? Factor number three, what are the clinical manifestations? In other words, what are the patient's symptoms? Are they subjective or objective? Factor number four, what are the keywords? And factor number five, is it a prioritization question or is it a content-based question? You need to be thinking about these five factors on every NCLEX question. You might not see all of them in every question, but you need to be thinking about them as you read through the question. So let's identify them in this question. An older adult is telling me that we're talking about an elderly for a reason. We know that the elderly and infants, children have certain risks because of their age, especially when it comes to medication. So an older adult is admitted into the hospital with, now comes the clinical manifestations, with nausea and vomiting. The client has a history of heart failure and is being treated with digoxin. So now they're talking to us about a medication. So you have to think the clinical manifestations that they're giving me with the patient's age and this medication, what is the relationship? So, vomiting and digoxin and an elderly, is there a relationship? Yes, there is. We'll talk about it. The client has been nauseated for a week and began vomiting two days ago. Anytime you see objective information, measurable information. This is important. Two days ago means that this patient has been vomiting for a while. Laboratory values indicate hypokalemia. Another factor, another keyword. So, elderly, vomiting, digoxin, and now hypokalemia, is there a relationship? Because of these clinical manifestations or these clinical findings, what should the nurse assess for? 